National Orthopedic Hospital, Igbobi. It was established in 1945 uh, as the Royal Orthopedic Hospital for returnees from the Second World War. We are mainly an orthopedic institution. 80% of our activity is orthopedics. About 40% of our patients need MRI. For patients coming from outside, it's not so much of a problem, but we have patients who are inside, who we have to admit and then send for MRI, so it becomes cumbersome. It's part of our services that is missing. When we wanted to start the public-private partnership in Igbobi, we were looking for the funding. Unfortunately, in our country, most of the banks don't even understand what you want to do. So that was a big challenge until we came across MCF and pharmacists. These are a group of professionals and they know healthcare inside out. They funded the construction and that's where the partnership is building up. A couple of years ago, um, we supported Crestview Radiology, Dr. Fatade, to help upgrade his facility um, by giving him a loan through the medical credit fund up to the extent of building the infrastructure around his diagnostic center. And now the phase two was actually to equip because the building without the necessary equipment was not valuable to the hospital. They treat most of the orthopedic patients, you know, the accidents, the really complex cases uh, in Lagos State. Believe it or not, they didn't have an MRI machine. For an orthopedic hospital where you deal with the bone, you must, first of all, diagnose where the problem is before you start to treat. And so we've seen a lot of bad cases, bad outcomes, because physicians were flying blind. This is where MCF came in. Uh, MCF uh, provided uh, the funding and helped to acquire the MRI machine. So as of today, I'm happy to say that Ibobi Hospital has a functional MRI machine. They don't have to take patients broken bones out of their premises. One of the things that makes us unique uh, as an organization is that we have nothing to gain except ensuring that the least people in society have quality healthcare services. And so one of the things we are trying to do is to be a convener of some sort uh, to bring relevant people to the table to say how can we uh, leveraging on existing infrastructure and the systems that are in place uh, improve the ability of people to access healthcare. So this is what uh, kind of farm access and the medical credit fund set out to do, uh, to provide funding, to provide loans at a competitive interest rate that would help healthcare facilities improve the quality of care that they give. That is where I give kudos to them. Without a company like MCF and pharmacists, I doubt whether most healthcare practitioners will be able to do most of these things. Now that the MRI is within the hospital, it will improve on the practice of the profession itself. And for the patient, you can come in and within a short period, you can go back home. You've had your MRI done, you've seen your doctor, he has reviewed it. So your waiting time is shortened. So what Farm Access has done is to bring services closer to the patient and it will help the hospital provide more services to many more patients in the near future. So basically, it's a win-win situation for everybody, for farm access, for the hospital, for the government, for the patients. <laughs>